Hey guys, my name is Gabby. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna be doing a video that is highly requested from me and that is books that made me cry. This is actually going to be part two because there have been so many books that have made me cry. I can actually do a part two for this. So if you haven't seen part one, it's going to be linked down below. And if you're wondering why there aren't books on this list, like A Little Life and some of my all-time favorites that made me cry, it's because it's mentioned on that first list. So definitely be sure to check out that one first and then come back and see this one. I always like to tell myself that I'm not a very emotional person and that I don't really cry a lot in books, but that's clearly not the case because I have so many books on this list that have made me cry. Some of these are going to be books that I think would also make other people cry, but some of these are definitely a me thing. If you're looking for a good cry, some of these books might not make you cry, but they definitely made me cry. <laughs> but before we do jump into the books, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Skillshare offers membership with meaning, with so much to explore, real projects to create, and the support of fellow creatives. Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning that there are no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. I recently just started taking this class called Real Productivity, How to Build Habits That Last by Thomas Frank. And it's great because it teaches you how to set goals, but then how to break those goals down into smaller, more attainable goals so that you can build habits that last towards reaching your big goals in life. And it's been a very helpful class to me. And if you're a person that really likes productivity, then I think you would enjoy this class. But if that doesn't interest you, they also also offer classes in illustration, drawing, photography, writing, video editing, like literally any creative topic that you can think of, it's probably there. So the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. And thanks again so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and supporting my channel and the booktube community. Alright, so without further ado, let's just jump into the books that made me cry. The first one I want to show you and talk about is 112263 by Stephen King. I actually actually did an entire reading vlog dedicated to this book earlier this year so that will be linked down below as well and you saw that you saw all of that when I cried over this book it was it was a hot mess Get out my tears, ricochet. I will say it was mostly the ending of this book that made me cry there was not a single tear for like 800 pages until the very end and then I bawled my eyes out is the Stephen King book actually making me cry oh my god Ooh, this is fucking sad. And this book, if you didn't know, it's like a historical fiction novel from Stephen King and it involves time travel. It's about this guy who goes back in time to try and prevent the assassination of JFK. And my god, you know, I just didn't think I cared. I didn't think that I cared that much and then I did. Yeah, I had a really good cry at the end of this book and it just hit so hard because I wasn't expecting to cry like I did at the end of this book. <laughs> the book that I read more recently that really made me cry is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. This is definitely one of my favorite books that I read this year, but damn! I don't know what it is about this book, but the ending just made me cry so much. This book, we're following this girl named Addie LaRue who gets cursed, and the curse is that she's gonna be forgotten by everyone that she meets. Like, literally within 10 seconds of meeting her, they forget her. And it's tragic, and it's sad, and this whole book is definitely sad. She's living for 300 plus years. Like, she's immortal, but she's forgotten by everyone she meets. So, like, what kind of life is that? It's very lonely. The ending was just so beautiful and stunning and emotional. And I was also crying probably because it was over. Because it was just so good. I just wanted this book to go on forever. Another book that made me cry is If Only I Could Tell You by Hannah Beckerman. This one is very This Is Us vibes. So, if you like the show This Is Us, and if This Is Us makes you cry, this will probably make you cry too because in this book we're following this family and it's this mom and these daughters and the daughters no longer speak to each other because of something that happened during their childhood but we're also following from the mom's point of view I'm pretty sure and god this book was seriously so sad it's like a family drama kind of story but it's just also very heartbreaking and the ending of this book made me cry like after I read the last page I just like stared at the wall and like cried for like five minutes because that's what you do when you finish a sad book and you don't know what to do. <laughs> Another book that really made me freaking cry a lot is Dancing at the Pity Party. And this book made me cry because it's a graphic novel that is a memoir. So it's a true story about this girl and how her mom died and how it was so hard 
to deal with the death of her mom and the death of a parent is definitely something that will make me cry no matter what it just really triggers me like i just get so upset because like the idea of one of my parents dying will make me cry wow sorry if you can hear the rain in the background but it's pouring rain right now it's like the universe is also crying but yeah this book was absolutely heartbreaking it broke my freaking heart and i just wanted to go give my mom a hug after i finished this i was just like mm -hmm. i don't know what that sound was but you get it. Another book that made me cry is The Death of Vivek OG because holy shit. I was actually reading this book simultaneously while listening to the audiobook and thank god I was because I was crying so hard I couldn't read the words. Like my, my tears were blurring my vision and I just couldn't even see. I couldn't even breathe. It was a lot. It was a lot. This book is almost, I would put it on the same level of sadness as like a little life. It has like a very similar sad energy and vibe to it and obviously you can tell from the title okay you can tell from the title that this is going to be a sad book it's the death of vivek og and, and it's devastating it's absolutely heart-wrenching god is there like a bird what is this yeah but this book definitely tore my heart out it stomped on it another book that made me cry that i don't really know how to explain myself for this one is pretty girls by karen slaughter this is the only thriller novel, I think, ever to make me cry. And I didn't just, like, huh, shed a tear. I, like, bawled my eyes out at the end of this book. And I think the main reason for that is because we're following these two sisters in this book. They're trying to figure out what happened to their other sister who went missing. And this book is incredibly graphic. It's probably one of the most graphic, disturbing things I've ever read about. Like, the torture that these people do to these women in this book is just unimaginable it's absolutely disgusting i was nauseous while i was reading this it's probably the most graphic thing that i've ever read and so not only was i being traumatized by this book while i was reading it but also once i got to the ending and the story about the sisters oh my god it just got to me and i just lost it and i bawled my eyes out i can't imagine something like this happening to my sister i love books that involve sisters and so just thinking about something like this happening to someone i love like i could not handle it i was <laughs> a fucking mess over this book and it's the only thriller that has ever gotten this emotional of a response from me usually thrillers i just like don't even bat an eye like don't really get connected i guess to the characters but this one this one just hit me so fucking hard next up i have eleanor and gray by Brittany c cherry and this one is a romance novel that made me cry and it's mainly because of the fact that this book involves a dying parent or a parent that's dying of cancer that kind of storyline happening happening in a book like as i said earlier it will always make me cry i just feel like it just really gets to me because it's such a real life thing and it's such a real life horror and scary thing to happen is if your parent gets cancer and they slowly start dying before your eyes like that just sounds like the worst fucking thing ever to me so anytime it's like in a book and it's well written like this oh my gosh i just bawl my eyes out i just literally bawl my eyes out and not only that but this romance is just really beautiful because these two characters have just been through so much and to see them come to each other every time that they're in so much pain and they just really rely on each other you know like it's just it's really beautiful. It got to me. <laughs> Second to last book that I want to talk about that made me cry is The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. This one is also a very recent read of mine. This one just made me cry because it really made me think about life and what makes a life worth living and what is the best way to live. And this one is one of the most thought-provoking books that I've ever read and it involves trigger warnings for suicide and depression and anxiety and in this book we're following this woman named Nora who attempts to kill herself right at the start of this book and then she finds herself in the midnight library which is this place that you go to when you're between life and death and she sees all of these books on the shelves and she gets told that all of these books are different choices that she could have made in her life and each book represents a different choice so she gets the chance to take the books off the shelves and live a different life based off of different decisions that she could have made in her life and the way that this book talks about regrets it was just so beautiful and so stunning i was just crying like most of the time while i was reading this but then also a lot at the end it was so good it was really really good it really touched me and this was the kind of book that really just like makes you think about life and what the purpose of it all is and i just love books like that and then the last book that I wanted to talk about is probably definitely a me thing, so I don't know if this would make other people cry at all, but it's Loveless by Alice Oseman. <laughs> and you definitely saw that. You saw me break down over this book in a recent vlog. I can include some clips here. Okay, um, I don't know why I'm crying. Um, 
it's just Oh God, I don't know why talking about this is like making me emotional, but I'm, I'm already feeling so seen in this book. I was literally just talking about this book. Like I did not plan to cry in that moment, but just talking about this book made me freaking break <laughs> because this book is a novel that follows this main character who is asexual and it's kind of a book about her discovering her own asexuality and tr trying to figure out her own identity and figure out who she is and what this all means and it was literally one of the most relatable books i've ever read in my life if you think you might identify as asexual or aromantic or anything on that spectrum i highly recommend reading this it's probably going to make you emotional because it's going to normalize so many things for you and I think that's mainly why I cried so much reading this is because I always thought that these things I was thinking were just me like I thought it was just me who thought this way and to read a book with the main character who literally it's like reading my diary she says everything that I've ever thought in these romantic situations it was just so eye-opening to know that I wasn't alone and <laughs> god I'm not gonna cry right now I'm not but fuck dude this book fucked me up it made me cry and I swear it just oh my god it's just it's one of the best books I've ever read and it was very personal for me it was a very personal experience and I loved it so much it made me cry a whole lot I'm trying not to cry right now as I speak yeah those are all of the books that made me cry the most please let me know if any of these books also made you cry and please let me know what are some books that made you cry that I might not have mentioned on here I really do like books that make me cry I need a good cry every now and then you know thank you so much for watching as always and I will see you very soon with a new video bye what?